Nagkape na ba kayo? Hi everyone, thank you for clicking. In this video, I will teach you how to make an interactive game using Google Slides. Now, this one is kind of different from what I regularly make. This is for my colleagues and other education frontliners. <laughs> At the end of this video, you will be able to create your own interactive game using Google Slides. So this will be divided into three parts. First, we're going to discuss how the game works. Then, we're going to talk about how the interactive game was made. So we are going to talk about designing, linking, and animating the objects. Lastly, I'm going to show you how to present it using two video conferencing tools, namely Zoom and Google Meet. First, let me show you how the game works. So this game is called Bata Game Kanaba. So this is based on one of the most famous game shows in the Philippines. Pilipinas! Game Kanaba! Game na! You can use this as a motivation for the students or for their formative assessment during synchronous classes. You can also use it for your live review sessions. Here you will see two buttons, Game Na and How to Play. If you do not know how to play this, click How to Play. This will lead you to the instructions as you can see here. After understanding how the game works, click Menu. Now you are back here. You can now start the game by clicking Game Na. By doing so, you'll see the categories which contain the questions. You have to choose one. For example, Internet. I will click the box and a question will appear. In a website browser address bar, what does www stand for? Now, the students can write the answer in the chat box. So the first one to get the answer right will get the point. To check the answer, just click Reveal the Answer. World Wide Web. Click Back. Then go to the next category. Literature. You will do the same thing until all the categories are closed. For example, Chemistry. What is the first element on the periodic table? The student will answer. Then you have to reveal the correct answer. Now the student with the highest score wins the game. Now let's talk about how I created this simple game. The first thing that you need to do is to go to Google Slides. Clicking it will direct you to the templates where you can start doing your presentation. You will also see here your recent presentations. Now let's create a blank presentation. What we're going to do is to make our intro or menu slide. Now, the design is really up to you. You can choose any theme that you like. Okay, so I will click background, then choose a color. Second, I will, second, I will click shapes, then make a rectangle. To change the color of this rectangle, click this one. It says fill color, then choose the color that you want. In my case, I want yellow. Now to make it more appealing, click format options. Then this part will show. So you can experiment, but what I want to show you is the drop shadow. Okay. Click it, then adjust the angle. By activating the drop shadow, you will see a shadow. Tama. Now let's make the title of the game. Okay, so click insert, choose text box, then make a square. So choose the font that you like. In my case, I want this press start 2p. Now I also want to change the color of the text into white. I will write the first letter of the title, okay. then adjust the size. Now, again, the design is up to you. Now, I will change the color of the text box into red. Now, I will just copy this one three times to give me the consistent size. So, you can do this by clicking Ctrl C or Command C or just right click, then copy. Paste. Once 
what I will do next is to copy these four, then paste it down. Now I have an equidistant boxes. Just complete the title. Next, change the color of the boxes. You can also put an outline. Click all the boxes, then click this one, border weight, change it to 4px. Now let's make the menu and the how to play button. So to make it easier, just copy this, then make it small. Then make another copy here. Change the color here. Then write game na. Here, how to play. Now we are done with the menu slide. We can now create the how to play slide. Again, to make it easier, just duplicate the first slide. Then delete what's not needed. You can duplicate it by right clicking it here then duplicate slide now let's just edit adjust this one make it how to play here you can write the instructions you can also change the size now you want to go back to the menu slide so let's change this how to play to menu Okay, so we have the menu slide. Now let's make the category slide. Again, duplicate and edit. We are now ready to make the categories. So again, okay, so just copy one box, then edit it. Let's say math. Science, English, and X. Okay, so you just have to complete and write your categories. Okay, so remove this because we don't really need this. Then change this one to menu. Now we have the category slide. We can now write the questions. Now, it's wiser to copy or duplicate slide 3 because we have almost the same format. So, this one. Let's write math. Center. Here. Then just write your question. What is 2 plus 3? Then center. Increase the size. What you want to do next is to change menu to back so that when you click this one it will direct you again to the categories then copy this put it here then change it to reveal answer then copy it again and paste then write the answer here five or you can also put an image as the answer to do that click insert then select image then search web then click whatever you want for me I like this one then insert okay then adjust it like this okay. make another copy duplicate slide change the heading this time it's science write your question here okay. then the answer now you have to do this until you finish all the categories again just copy paste edit Okay. Assuming that we are done with all the questions, we are now going to do the linking. Our goal is that if we click the how to play button, it will direct us to the how to play slide here. To accomplish this, just click the how to play box. Okay. Then click this chain here, which says insert link. So this one will show up. Okay, slides in this presentation. You have to click it. Okay, and since the how to play slide is on slide number 5, click slide 5. You will see slide 5. Now let's go to slide 5. 
okay so we don't want to be stuck here when we click the how to play button we need to go back to the menu to do this again click the box same method just click this link slide in this presentation and click slide one apply okay so let's try click menu click how to play menu okay so it's working so you have to do the same with the game now so click the link here slide in this presentation choose the slide which contains the categories slide number two click apply now go to slide number two okay again do the same with the menu click this box click the link the chain rather then choose number one now the same method applies to the categories okay so click the mat box click the insert link then direct it to slide number three because slide number three contains the question for math then go to slide number three after answering this question you want to go back to the categories so again click back click the chain click slides in the presentation then go to slide two okay now do the same to all the categories <laughs> assuming that we have finished all the questions what we're going to do next is to animate what we want to happen is to see the correct answer when we click the reveal answer button so i will select these three then i will click animate so this one will show what you want to do is to make the reveal answer disappear okay so click this one then change it to disappear you can also change the speed in my case i want it really fast but you have to remember that if you change the speed of one object, you have to change all so that the animation will happen simultaneously. Okay, fast. So instead of fade in, I want appear. Then five, fast, appear. Then you click play to check if it works. Reveal answer. Okay, so X. Then do this in all the questions. Now let's try our new interactive game. How to play menu game na and the categories math reveal answer five back science reveal answer integumentary system back. Now you have your interactive game. So next I will show you how to present it during your synchronous class. So first, open the file that you want to share. Now that I have the file here, what I will do next is to click this arrow next to the present button. Okay, then you will click present review. Do not click this present button here, the bigger one, because it will give you a different view. The presentation will cover your whole screen. You can do that if you want. However, you will not be able to see your notes nor the time. Now, if you click this presenter view, a tab will pop out. You just have to adjust the size of the windows and the tab. Okay. Now, go to your video conferencing app. In my class, I use Zoom, so I will open Zoom. Now, assuming that your students are already in the Zoom meeting room, you will now click share screen. So this one will show, click advanced, then click portion of screen, then share, okay? Now you will see a green box, it means that everything inside the green box is visible to the students and everything outside the box is not. Who said? Jesus. With that, what you want to do is to adjust it by dragging the sides. Now, the students will only see your slide. Now, your students will only see 
this slide, this portion inside the green box. Now let's go to the other tab, the presenter view. This one is very important. Okay, this speaker notes will let you see the things that you wrote under your slide. This audience tool is part of what makes this interactive. If you click this one, this will allow a question and answer portion. So you'll click start new. As you can see, a link will show. Now you need to ask your students to go to this link. Now be careful because this is case sensitive. Now you can also turn it off, click off, and it will go away. Now instead of writing their questions here, the students will write their answers to the questions that you will present. For example, let's have math. What is 2 plus 3? The students will have this view and they can answer here. 5. Okay. In the teacher's view, I will see that one student answered it. Okay. Once all the answers are in, reveal the answer. Now, you can also share the answer of the student who got it right first. For example, here. For example, this student. Then you go back. Then, have another one. What is the largest organ system? Wait for the answers. Once done, reveal the answer. Then show. Now, that's how you present it using Zoom. Okay, how about in Google Meet? In Google Meet, it's the same thing. With your slides still in presenter view, go to Google Meet, click present now, and choose a tab. Choose the one with your slide. Okay, so in this way, the students can only see your slide and not the presenter view. It still works the same way. How to play menu game na. And that's how you make an interactive game using Google Slides. Hello. Let's celebrate that.